My name is Simon Copeland. I'm a doctoral researcher at Lancaster University working on kin and peer networks and terrorism. My research demonstrates the complex, unexpected and even contradictory ways that terrorists can see family and friends have impacted upon their engagement in violence. Researchers consistently emphasise that family and friendship networks play an important role in the recruitment processes of terrorist groups. However, much of this research has focused on the tangible role of these relations in connecting the individuals to those who are already involved in violence um, and helping to pass on formalised extremist ideologies. By analysing how terrorists narrate their own involvement in violence, uh, my research seeks to demonstrate the role of kin and peer relationships in shaping stories that instigate or prevent violence. Importantly, these stories may provide or be reinterpreted by terrorists to provide templates or rationalisations for terrorism. At the same time, these narratives can also restrict an individual's engagement with violence, both in the process of becoming a terrorist and, interestingly, after having already committed to such a course of action. My research has also found that whilst family and friends can transmit formalised extremist ideologies, they are also responsible for passing on other more abstract um, traditions, beliefs and values, um, many of which in other circumstances may be considered positive. Similarly, uh, terrorist narratives also reveal the importance of both surrogate fam family figures and the kin relationships that form between members of tight-knit clandestine groups. Uh, and this is for both influencing individuals to initially become in involved in violence and also to stay involved in terrorism. My research aims to help better comprehend these long-term complex kin and peer dynamics uh, across individuals' engagement in terrorism and how these networks can help prevent and uh, disrupt the transmission of extremist ideologies and involvement in terrorism. To read more about my research, visit the CREST website at www.crestresearch.ac.uk.